guacamoles. I'm making something I call a medicine guacamole. Really important to see because when you see me make it, how I make it and everything, you're gonna be like, now you know why it's medicinal. It's the medicine guacamole. So I'm making hummus, making nut milk too, making nut butters. And here's what I'm gonna tell you guys, okay? I'm gonna show you the scam that you guys are being scammed every day in the nut butter world. You see what's going on right there? I can't wait to go into detail on this. It's gonna blow your freaking minds. See that? What is that? Oh, that's a lot of oil. But why and where? And how come it's in my nut butters? It's in all of your nut butters. That's right. Can't wait to give you the whole rundown on that. This is gonna be a really fun time. Look at that. Ooh, whoa, what's up with that exactly? You see that oil right there? You guys are drinking all that oil? Uh-huh, let's go into it a little bit. So I'm making three different kinds of nut butters. I'm making three different kinds of guacamole. I'm making a hummus and I'm making something else. I don't know what it is, I'm not sure. Celery juice and the nerve acid gut stabilizer, okay? I'm making that too, medical medium, parsley shot. So what do I have in front of me? I got my celery, I got this incredible basil right here. I got these collard greens, hot peppers, rosemary, oregano, parsley, got some thyme, lemons, and limes right here. And of course the avocados for the guacamoles. That's what we're gonna be doing. Let's get on to it. So right here, you guys, this is the MM1500, $100 off. $100 off on the machine right now. This is an incredible machine. It is the medicine maker, I call that. The reason why is because it extracts to such a degree. And what happens with other juicers, like the basket juicers that everybody gets suckered into because they think it's easier or something to use. What happens with like the basket juicers is it's deficient juice. So you're drinking deficient juice. So you think you're getting juice in you that's providing something for you, but it creates a deficiency over time because it's not extracting enough of the nutrients. The MM1500 ex ex extracts such a large quantity of critical nutrients, literally leaves dust behind to that degree almost. And you guys know I work with the Mega and everything. This is the MM1500. So I can't wait to show you. I'm gonna make some celery. That's one thing all on its own. One thing I wanna run by you guys is the who's who is drinking celery juice every single day. Most, almost everyone in Hollywood drinking celery juice. Supermodels drinking celery juice every single day for their skin, for their hair, for their nails. Everybody <laughs> that's someone out there doing whatever that's going on that you see out there, public figures, stars, Hollywood people, whoever it is, supermodels, rock stars, most of them, the majority of them are drinking celery juice every single morning. And there's a reason because it is helping them get, you know, onto their game the way they need it. Now for the chronically ill, it's critical celery juice. That's the whole reason. The reason why I got the celery juice out there all these decades is because for chronic illness, it's an integral part of helping people recover. Very important to know. Now here's what happens with celery juice. When someone just does one cup of celery juice, one glass of celery juice once in a while, it's not gonna do enough. You gotta stay committed. You gotta be disciplined. You gotta know that you're worth it. You gotta know that your life is worth it that you are worth healing. You need to know that your body can get what it needs from things like celery juice, one of the incredible medical medium tools, which is celery, okay? So I wanna go into that. Let me just run some, go, run some uh, celery juice through here. I'm pumped up. I am totally pumped up because I got people coming over later and I'm making guacamoles for them in the whole bit. I figured, let me just make it happen for everybody. I want you guys to see it now. You're wondering, how am I making guacamoles? I'm making it with the MM1500 and your mind is gonna be blown because I'm gonna show you how to make guacamole with this machine, not just one variety, three varieties. All right, so let me get a little bit of celery juice going here, okay? And grabbing this, grabbing a screen. Now you wanna strain your celery juice, keep that in mind. This is the MM1500. If you guys are looking for a juicer, it's $100 off right now. Okay, megajuicers.com. You can see the link in the description, link in the profile. All right, so make sure it's the MM1500 though. Important thing to understand. So right now, 
I'm going to run some celery. Here we go. This machine, cold press masticating juicer with a triple auger, gets the nutrients out without damaging or scorching the vegetable, or in this case, the herb. What you're making right here is herbal medicine. That's what this is, herbal medicine. You're making an herbal elixir, an herbal drink. Celery is not a vegetable, it is an herb. Powerhouse. All these things are important to know. It isn't just for crudite, it isn't just for dipping into something. If you use it this way, you can change your life. If you're suffering from autoimmune, chronic illness, eczema, psoriasis, dermatitis, skin problems, rosacea, vitiligo, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibromyalgia, any kind of autoimmune disorder whatsoever, multiple sclerosis, any kind of condition, celery juice is a critical part of healing. So important to know. If you're dealing with mental health issues, OCD, um, bipolar, if you've been diagnosed with bipolar, depression, anxiety, panic, mystery neurological symptoms, which basically everything is a mystery neurological system out there um, in the medical world, in the health world. So neurological issues, tingles, numbness, ringing in the ears, dizziness, balance issues, tightness in the chest, tightness in the throat, all kinds of weird feelings, vibrations, tremors, ticks, spasms. You feel vibrations when you're laying down. Insomnia, sleeping problems that people don't realize are neurological. All of this celery juice is critical for. Thyroid disorders, hypothyroidism, hyperthyroidism, anything to do with the thyroid, cysts, nodules. Celery juice is critical for. You see how important it is? Reproductive disorders, right? Ovarian problems, PCOS, endometriosis. Celery juice is critical for it. These things are really important to know. It's $100 off, it's the MM1500. I'm cruising because I got a lot of stuff to do. I got three guacamoles to make, I got a hummus to make, I got three nut butters to make, and I'm gonna show you guys how you're being scammed so badly it hurts with the nut butters. Buying nut butters is so abusive. The nut butter business is so abusive on the customer. Yes, you don't know it, but you're being abused when you go and buy that nut butter. And I'm gonna talk about how. It sounds like crazy, but it's not. Wait till I describe how it works, what goes on with nut butters and the whole bit. So I'm really looking forward to showing you guys. You know, the thing is, the transparency is not out there. Every food we eat, every packaged food, every bottled food, transparency is not out there. All kinds of different things, it's just not there. So it's important that people know what's going on. Now, what you're seeing right here is high compression. This MM1500, you guys know if you have a 1500 or a 900. What you see right here is really dry pulp because of the compression. Someone might say, oh, well look, it's not going all the way through. Oh yeah? Well, there's a reason why it's held back a little bit because you're looking at high compression. You're looking, you can see here with this camera right there, you see how that camera's on there, you guys, right now? How sick is that? This isn't wet and sloppy pulp. This isn't just wet, drippy, sloppy pulp. This is dry, way drier than anything out there. Those basket juicers, it's a, rip, a total ripoff. It doesn't get the nutrients out. It doesn't squeeze the juice out. You gotta be extremely wealthy just to throw your stuff in there and let the basket thing spin around. And you gotta be wealthy because you have to buy so much more produce to make a juice. Now, but if you're somebody with chronic illness and you need to heal and you need to recover and get your life back, it's important that you have something that's ex not only extracting the nutrients that you need to heal, but you need, okay, you need juice that's free and clear from any kind of other contaminants you don't know that are in the basket juicers. It's a whole nother thing all on its own. And then 
the cost for buying loads of produce and getting very little juice out of it, putting way more into the basket and getting very little juice. That's not the way to go. So anyway, already I got some juice right there. So I'm gonna shut this down. I got a nice little screen here. You wanna strain your celery juice. The reason why you don't wanna pull, you want, don't want pulp in there. You don't want too much grit in there. The grit and the pulp slows down the digestive process. You want this stuff going lightning fast into your bloodstream, lightning fast into your body. So it gets to your bones, it gets to your brain. The electrolytes get to the brain. That's what you need. You want your neurons firing and you want them devouring all those minerals and trace mineral salts and all the different nutrients that are in the celery juice. You want your brain, your brain stem and your neurons to suck it up and devour it and bring it in and tune up with it. That's what you want. It's critical. So, all right. Nice, nice, nice. First of all, I want to show you one thing, okay? I want to show you the pulp. You guys, if you just came on here, I'm making three guacamoles, I'm making a hummus, I'm making celery juice right now. I'm going to make three nut butters. I'm going to show you what's going on in the nut butter world that'll blow your mind. And I'm going to show you pulp that's not wet and sloppy. It's not, and this is very fibrous celery right here. Really fibrous. When, if you're going to go and spend money on celery, okay, and it might not be the juiciest batch. This is not a juicy batch of celery. I remember when I bought this right here and I looked at it and I was like, you're spindly, you're skinny and spindly and small, the stalks. There's not a lot of juice in here. Probably been, you know, sitting in a warehouse for a little while before it got into the store. And even with all that, I squeezed the hell out of what I put through there because of this machine, the MM1500, right? I'm going to show you the pulp. The pulp isn't wet and sloppy. So if I take this pulp out of here, there's nothing wet in this right here. So let me just do this. You're not seeing all this wet and, you know, the juice and the wet pulp. Critical to know all on its own. So I'm putting the pulp back in there right now. Okay. All right. And let me just pour this juice into a, let's find something now, you guys. Boom. All right. If you just got here, you guys are going to have some fun. I'm going to have some fun. I'm making three guacamoles, one called a medicine guacamole, and I'm going to show you why. You're looking at different forms of medicine right here. When you dedicate yourself, you have some discipline. You fight for it and you give your body what it needs and you let that stuff enter your body. What can happen is miraculous. Life changing events in someone's health, mind, body, mental health, physical health. That's a celery juice right there. Boom, boom, boom. Fresh off the press. I'm so pumped about that as I almost spilled the whole thing, but we're live and that's how it rolls. All right. And. We got the pulp, which is dry, 1500 mm 1500 $100 off on this machine right now. It's the MM1500. Link in the profile, link in the description. Wait till you see what it does. I'm going to make some nut butters because I know you guys are eating nut butters. I see it out there all the time. People are having peanuts and almonds and almond butter and tahini and all of that. And you guys know I work with Mega because these machines are amazing this machine is i don't know but the other ones i'm saying this is the 1500 that has the high compression that squeezes the nutrients out that's what i'm talking about right there pumped all right i'm gonna make a parsley shot nerve gut acid stabilizer right medical medium brain shot therapy i'm gonna move this juice over right here you guys don't mind okay so i'm in the brain saver protocols i'm gonna find it I have it marked because this is a big ass book. Look at this nerve gut acid stabilizer right there. I just want to read that really quick, even though we're going to be making guacamoles and everything else. Use a stabilizing shot if you're looking to strengthen your vagus nerves. Who's looking to strengthen their vagus nerves? Tremors, shakes, spasms. Tingles, numbness, tightness of the chest, panic attacks, anxiety. That's just to name a few. Who's looking to strengthen their vagus nerves? There we go. Nerve gut acid stabilizer. If you're dealing with gastric spasms, flatulence, chronic gastritis, mild acid reflux, or other digestive disturbances, 
for including acute acid reflux, right? You're looking at the nerve gut acid stabilizer. You feel your food is not digesting and you want to change that over time and build it up. If you feel like your food's not breaking down, nerve gut acid stabilizer. If you feel you have poor nutrient absorption, if you've been told you have a microbiome or gut microflora condition or problem, which everybody gets told that, they really don't know how to get people better. They don't know why they're really sick, but everybody says the microbiome, microbiome, take this, take that, and this, 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 this. 10 doctors later, 30 vials of blood here, 10 vials of blood here. It's just so sad what's going on out there. You've been told you have a microbiome problem, right? But you still don't know what's wrong with you. You feel as if you're toxic or your blood is toxic. That's what I love about this nerve gut acid stabilizer we're gonna make. It helps with the blood toxicity, which is a big deal. I'm talking really fast here because I know I have so much to do. You feel that your liver and lymph are toxic, stagnant and sluggish. You're feeling an acidy stomach, acidy sensations in your throat or mouth or acidy feelings throughout your body. Your body odor is more noticeable than usual. You're dealing with chronic nausea or chronic bloating. How many people are dealing with chronic nausea or chronic bloating out there? I know a lot of people are dealing with that. It's awful. Sometimes their bloating is so bad, they're out to here and they're just bloated. It's just, oh God, it's tough. You're trying to repair an acidic body system and you make your body more alkaline through the gut stabilizer. So I just wanted to read a little bit about this next thing I'm making. It's the nerve gut acid stabilizer, okay, from the medical me and brain shot therapy in protocols right there. Let's get into it. So I'm going to run some parsley in here and I'm going to get this ready right now. Okay. There's a dedicated support line at Omega. So when you go there, it's a medical medium support line, just so you know, for the MM1500 and 900. You'll find the information on this machine in the description. Link is in the description. Link is in the profile. It's the MM1500. People don't juice like the medical medium community juices. People don't put wear and tear on their machinery, on their juicers, like the medical medium community does. There is no community in the world that runs stuff through juicers day in and day out like the medical medium community. There are people in this community that are running brain shots right here every single day, two, three brain shots a day. They're running two celery juices a day every single day. They're doing this. The other juicers out there will never stand up for that. Ever. The basket juicers will never stand up. Everything gets dull and it falls apart. It can't handle that intensity. It's not possible. That's why the MM1500 is here. It's here to handle that. And people don't realize it. They don't know how much juicing, how much dedication towards bringing back health because the medical medium community is a community of people that, that were really, really sick bedridden. Big difference between being not so sick versus really sick with chronic illness and chronic mystery illness. Not just a little stuff here and a little stuff there, which is fine too, because that's, that's hard on people. And I understand I'm not demeaning or undermining or belittling that on any level, but the people, majority of the people in the medical meme community came from hell and back. They were deep in the woods, deep in the dark woods with no sunshine and they fought their way out and they crawled and they fought and they scratched their way out and they got to the woods line and they entered into the sunlight in the field because they found answers and tools like such that we're talking about right here, like the right juicers and the right doing celery juice every single day and doing the brain shots and so forth and so much. So, all right. I'm just gonna knock out that pulp right there. So I wanna run some celery, get the nerve gut acid stabilizer going. All right. Probably gonna be a little bit of celery still going in here too. Parsley is really, really tough. You need a powerful juicer that doesn't destroy the nutrients but still juices the parsley, okay? 
Sometimes you might get a log jam in here when you're dealing with this much fibrous material like the stems. But the stems of the parsley hold these incredible minerals that help bring people back. Someone, someone asks me, family, friend, or somebody gets a hold of me and they're like a W, what do I do about this or that? And I'm like, are you doing the parsley shot? Are you doing the nerve gut acid, acid stabilizer? So right now, what I like to do is I like to do a couple of diff different shot, meaning like I like to do this once, twice, three times a day. I'm running parsley through here. Parsley is not easy to juice, and this is totally crushing it. It is crushing it. And here's what's amazing. The parsley's coming out dry, which means you're squeezing out all the nutrients. What you'll hear out there is people say, oh, you want to just blend everything. You never want to juice because you, you, um, you lose all the fiber and all that stuff but not when you're sick and you need an infusion. You need a main line. When you're sick, you need a main line of direct nutrients. And when you're using something like the MM1500 and you're getting that many nutrients out of it, you're getting a main line directly into your system. All right, so. Probably one of my favorite things to do is make the parsley shot, which is the nerve gut acid stabilizer. I like the nickname, you know, the parsley shot. Just putting a little bit more in there. The parsley gets thick, really thick in the container. Now I'm not straining this one. I want this one real thick. You can strain it. You can use the strainer, which is fine. Gonna put a little bit more. You guys, if you just got on here, I'm gonna be making three different kinds of guacamole. A medicine guacamole. I'm gonna make a spicy hot guacamole. I'm gonna make regular standard guacamole. A basic guacamole. All right. I got that to go through. Why am I so excited today? All right. Okay. One of the reasons why I'm so excited. This is practically dust. This is ripped to shreds. This is dusty dry. You can see the, like, it literally as if it was a dried herb. Did you ever play with dried herbs? And you see all like the dust and the powder that's just coming off of the dried herb. Have you ever seen that? Do you guys see what I'm talking about? Good luck with any other juicer ever seeing that. You will never see that in any other juicer. It's literally air drying as we speak. The parsley fibers. This has been ripped to shreds, but masticated, crushed carefully, not overheated. This is unbelievable. The nutrients that just came out of there. These are the things that make or break. These are the things that make or break. You know, I hear people out there say, hey, I did MM. I did it. Didn't get me better. And when you look and you see they did all this cacao they ate every other day. They were doing too many fats. They were having too many cheat days, which I understand. I'm not judging anybody. They weren't on any real protocols from the medical medium information. And then they weren't juicing that much and they were using maybe the wrong thing like a spinning basket juicer and they got ripped off and they didn't know it's not anybody's fault. It just happens out there. And they don't realize, would you do something where you make the nerve gut acid stabilizer where literally the parsley turns to practically dust dry? When you see, you see that, do you realize what you're getting in you? It's profound. It's a whole nother game, whole nother situation for healing. Whoa. Okay, so I'm going to get a little spoon in here. Just mix it up. Okay, let's pour it in a shot glass. 
If you guys just got here, we're making a lot of things, but this is an important one right here. Let's go. Maybe we can get a close up on that one too. Just never know. There it is, you guys. You got the close up right there. Boom. Check it out. That is the medicine right there. It packs a punch. It has a bite. It's all medicine. It's smooth, silky, but strong, but powerful. Send it down. Sounds good. Nice. Feels good. All right. Okay. You guys have to understand something. Very important. The fiber in a plant, we just poop out. That's what we do. Now, fiber is important inside our diet, but we get plenty of fiber. Plenty of it. You can eat an apple and get plenty of fiber. You can eat some leafy greens and get plenty of fiber. But we're talking about creating medicine. The fiber we don't need when we're trying to actually heal ourselves of ailments. Gut spasms, gut problems, Crohn's colitis, IBS, celiac, chronic fatigue syndrome, fibro, right? Rheumatoid RA, all the different conditions that everybody is dealing with every single day. Dizziness, blurry eyes, mysterious problems, ringing in the ears, vertigo, tinnitus, whatever it is, we need medicine. It's so important. But people will say, well, what about the fiber right there? The plant stem, the fiber is there to get the plant in the air so that the sun can hit it. So the fiber is to erect the plant so it's straight up and it finds its way to the sun. And in this case, you don't need all of the fiber. You need the medicine that's within the herb. In this situation right here, this machine completely annihilated that parsley in a good way, in a profound way. It took out nutrients, a nutrient spectrum that you would never get eating parsley and you would never get juicing with other juicers. It created a nutrient profile for you to move the needle. All right, let's get going. Let's make some nut milk. That's the next thing. I'm going to make some almond nut milk if you guys are okay with that. Just going to move some stuff out of the way. Here we go. All right. MM1500 is going to be at work making a nut milk right here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a screen on here that okay and I have some soaked almonds right here okay time to make some nut milk excited all right let's go I soak these almonds. You might be somebody that's not into making your own nut milk. If that's if that's what your uh, jam is not doing, it's totally fine. But you can make your own nut milk. If you guys hang out, I'm going to make three different nut butters. A hummus and three different guacamoles with the MM1500. This is the biggest sale on this machine ever so far. It's $100 off. The price is unbelievable for what it can do for you and what, what, it, what it has to offer. The price can't be beat. So I'm making some pure nut milk. Wait a minute here. You know what I forgot? 
I forgot the natural flavors and the MSG and the carrageenan. I forgot to put that in here. Oh, bummer. I forgot to put all the poison into the almond milk. You know, the kind that's in the bottles of almond milk out there, the kind that's in the cartons, all the poison in there, the undisclosed hidden ingredients you don't even know about, plus the natural flavors, which is MSG and toxic stuff, plus the carrageenan, plus other garbage. Crap, I forgot to add that in here. Darn it, this is too pure. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? Someone tell me, please. I forgot to put the poisonous crap in here that everybody's drinking and eating every day. So what I love about this machine is because it has an ability to pulverize to such a degree, it's going to extract nutrients out of those almonds that you wouldn't get from the traditional store-bought almond milk you get out there every day. You go and you go in there, I'm gonna get some almond milk. Let me go get, get another bottle of poisonous toxic almond milk. But my body deserves only the best. Let me grab a cup of coffee and a chocolate bar on the way out. All right, the rest of that in there. All right. Got some almond milk ready. Let's go. I can put this in a lot of different different containers and so forth, but I might go in here instead. Let's see. I'm looking. Oh. Good to see you guys. If you just got on here, I just want to tell you something, all right? I just made a parsley shot, which is a nerve gut acid stabilizer. I made a celery juice. I'm going to make three guacamoles. I'm going to make a hummus. I'm going to make three nut butters. And I'm going to show you something in a little while that's mind blowing. But I just made an almond milk right now. Fresh almond milk right there. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. Can you guys see this? Maybe we can try to get a close up too. If we can, I don't know if we will be able. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we got a close up right there. How do you like them apples? All right. Nice. Can I, can I sip this? Is that okay? Mmm. All right. <laughs> okay I'm going to tell you right now <laughs> if you get this machine and you make this almond milk and then you take a store bought almond milk and you do a taste test difference you do this one and then you do that one and your mind is going to be blown I'll tell you why you taste pureness you taste cleanness you don't taste the poisonous crap they're slipping in there in the poisonous flavorings that you don't even see because they don't even disclose it you don't taste the msg that's in there like you don't taste like this is clean you don't taste that mm. whoa you guys that is so good all right okay okay calm down calm down I'm gonna stick this back here if that's okay. All right, next on the list. Roasted almond butter, hazelnut almond butter, roasted cashew almond butter. But first, I'm gonna to have to torture you guys a little bit, not because I want to, I don't want to, but I have to deliver important critical news to you. Take a good look. Take your time. Take a peek. 
I'm even going to do a close up down here. I'm going to put this one down here. Okay. This was never opened. The plastic is still on the top. The plastic is still on the top. I need you to know this. You guys, this is worth every single iota of your brain cells. This is worth every single moment of my brain cells. Our brain cells are working together in unison right now. Your brain cells and my brain cells are computing what you're seeing. I'm computing my brain cells. Let's get into it. See that peanut butter? That oil is not from those peanuts. See that almond butter? That oil is not from those almonds. You can't see this as it isn't clear, but it's an unopened tahini. And the oil on top of that unopened tahini is not from those seeds. It's not from those seeds. I hate to give you the hard truth, but it's not. This is one of the best lessons you guys can have because the oils that are placed in all the nut butters to save the nut butter company's money declines your health. It declines your health and wellness and well-being. This is a tahini right here. Better yet, let me get a shot glass out. You think the oil in all your tahinis, all your tahinis, take a look. That is straight oil, and that's not from your sesame seeds. This is part of why people can't heal. They think they're doing something good for themselves, but they don't heal. This is why vegans don't heal, and they go back to eating eggs. This is why vegetarians and people who are really mindful about their health, this is part of why they don't heal. It's simple things like this that they don't know, and the medical medium has to show the truth. That is pure straight oil, but not from those sesame seeds in all the tahini bottles and jars that you guys have is added oil that comes from someplace else. It's bulk, cheap, low-grade, rancid oil. It's in all your nut butters and your tahinis, and that's why it is absolutely critical you learn how to make a nut butter. If, if you don't want the machine, if you don't want the MN1500, even though it's $100 off, fine, then don't eat nut butters. Choose not to eat a nut butter because it's better and safer for you not to eat a nut butter because of what that is right there. Just so you know, let me get another shot glass or something like that. I think I got another one somewhere. I'll just rinse this one out real quick. All right. The oil you're looking at is not from those nuts or those seeds. It is added to save the nut butter company's money. It cheapens it. They're putting old rancid oil that comes from bulk, nuts from around the planet. It's like people who are eating animal beef right now, right? They're animal protein eaters. Medical medium um, uh, is pro vegan, plant-based, animal protein, vegetarian, whatever. And you just got to come here, get the information, learn how to heal. If you want to be an animal protein person, fine. If you want to be a vegan, fine. But this is important to know for vegans, plant-based people, and for animal protein people. What are people doing now who are eating animal protein that are really concerned and worried about where their beef comes from, where their meat comes from, right? They'll say they want the local butcher that cuts a piece from that one cow. They don't want chopped meat from a thousand cows blended together. So when they have a hamburger, they don't want a hamburger that has the DNA from a thousand animals. I mean, that's original medical meme information, though, that I brought to that world. 
<laughs> but regardless, 30 years ago, that was a mind blower for people when I said that a hamburger will have a thousand cows in it. It was like literally 35 years ago. It's one of the one of the things I was telling people. They're like, well, that doesn't make sense. But it does. But here's the thing. You don't want your nut butters to have almonds. Right? From one orchard, but oil from a hundred different orchards or some orchard on the planet somewhere else. You don't want it so separate and you don't want it added into your nut butter. You don't want oil added into there. It depreciates your health. It's not good for your heart. It's not good if you have chronic illness. People are eating all the peanut butters, all the almond butters, all the tahinis, all the cashew butters, all the hazelnut butters, and don't realize that they're drinking oil that's declining and taking down their health, and they don't even know it. This is the death by a thousand cuts. This is the MM death by a thousand cuts. So I got another shot glass out here. And I just poured two shot glasses. This was never opened. I can do it to four different tahini companies, five different tahini companies. This was never opened. I just opened it for you. And I just poured two of these sesame oil shot glasses. I just poured four straight ounces of oil that wasn't from those sesame seeds. And you guys will be drinking it when you take your tahinis out. You'll be drinking that. And you don't even know it. And I'm going to be careful with these because these are going to spill and what a mess they're going to make. So I'm going to put them maybe over here. Let's hope uh, that's an almond butter that's never been opened. Look on top. That's not the, the oil from those nuts. That's a peanut butter. Never opened. Look on top. I'm going to open it right now and I'm going to show you something. There's... The lid never been opened right there. There's the safety lid. I'm going to move these over for the moment. Let's get started. There's so many different things that stop us from healing. When we're really sick, we have to go all the way sometimes. We have to incorporate more tools and more tools. And then we got to be careful and we have to weed out the crap in the garbage. Because there's people out there, they're doing some MM, but they're also doing whey protein powder, which takes down your health. There's people out there, they're doing MM, and they're doing all these nut butters, which sure, nut butters are pretty good. It's not the worst thing. Nut butters are good for us in so many ways, right? But they're drinking gobs and gobs of old, dilapidated, rancid oil that came from other places in the world and was bought in bulk in a cheap way and then impregnated into each bottle. <laughs> And so these things knock us down. There's a thousand things out there in the health world that chip away at people while their body's trying to fight to survive. This is the MM1500, it's $100 off. Let's get into this. Let's start making some nut butters right now. Let's go. I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna turn this on. Godspeed. All right, which one do I want to make first? Let's make some almond butter. There we go. Look at that. This is roasted almonds. Whoa, look at that. Take a look, you guys. I got to do it nice and even so I can get a nice even stick. Look at that. What? Maybe I can get a close-up too in a minute. Whoa, that's insane. That's what almond butter is supposed to look like. There it is, everybody. MM1500. Spinning basket can't do that. A spinning basket juicer that can't even juice um, vegetables properly. What's a, a medical medium live without a little fun? Look at that. Take a look.
The thing is, when it comes down to being sick, every little bit counts. Every little bit counts. That means if you're going to eat a nut butter, you want to make sure you're not totally being screwed over or taken advantage of or ripped off or your body being betrayed. The nut butter companies are betraying people. Bottom line. Look at look at this nut butter right here. Look at these roast look at the roasted almond butter going through here. Look at that. That's insane right there. You guys see this? Probably one of the most mind-blowing things from the MM1500. Link is in the description. Link is in the profile. Victoria Smith says, what is the point of companies to put oil in their nut butters confused why they add it? Because they use less nuts, which cost the nut butter companies a lot of money. They use less nuts, but bring in cheap bulk oil that cost them pennies, pennies. And then they mark up the price of your nut butter jar, stick it on the shelf at Whole Foods or whatever food store, and you pay for rancid old oil. How's that for an explanation? Oh, fact. Fact. All right. You guys, I just made some almond butter right there. Let's get a close-up on here. Look at that. Is that just sick? Right? Where's all that disgusting oil that's added later? And here's the problem. It's, you can't, you can't be sure that they're just adding plain old oil. They could, the oil could have garbage in it, crap in it. It's bulk rancid old oils in every nut butter out there. That's what nut butter's supposed to look like right there. MM1500, boom. If you guys are sticking around, I want to make some more nut butter, but I want to do even more than that. I want to make three guacamoles. I want to make a hummus. This is the MM1500. It's $100 off. I don't know if they're ever going to do $100 off again. Usually it's $60 off, $40 off, or $80 off. The biggest I've seen is $100 off. Baseling says it's so messed up, and they say on the jar, oil separation is natural evil. I can say so much about that comment, meaning amazing comment. I can say so much about that. I could go to town on that, but I got to kind of like keep it contained. <laughs> got to keep it contained a little bit. All right. Hazelnut butter. Hazelnut butter. Is there a happy hazelnuts right here? The happy hazelnuts. Ooh, ooh. Is there a happy hazelnuts? Ooh, ooh, I want to go in there. Okay. All right. Now, why should we even care about all that added oil? I'll tell you why. Diminishes your health. Lowers your immune system. Burdens your liver and your heart. Look at this beautiful hazelnut butter coming out of here. Heavy on the liver and pancreas. Now I'm going to pack these in little jars too. Pure hazelnut butter. No added toxic oils. If you guys just got on here, you have to see this from the beginning. So you know what's going on. I've seen people, they're like, I don't put anything in my body that shouldn't be in my body, but let me just eat all this nut butter oil that's rancid and dumped into here and ripping me off and my body's health, taking away my body's health. And they don't even know it. Running some hazelnuts through here. Here we go. I'm going to pack them into jars in a minute, but I'm just going to actually just get them into their nice, beautiful bowls. Let's get a close-up on the hazelnut right here. Look at that. Is that just gorgeous? And I'll give you guys over here a close-up. You guys here in TikTok IG. Nice little close-up as well. 
All right, let's keep on doing it. Roasted cashews. Let's go. Now, when you make your own nut butters, it's a game changer. Now, if you're not gonna eat nut butters and you're gonna buy a store-bought one once in a blue moon, don't buy it. Don't buy it. It's not worth it. If you give nut butters to your kids, your children, your family members, then you want, then you want something that works. You want you to make your own fresh, clean, non-rancid oils, no oils in there, rancid oils thrown in there to cheapen it. You guys, link is in the profile, link is in the description. I'm just making some roasted cashew butter. And then we're going to move on. Now here's the thing though. There's people that can't have, they don't have any options. So what I recommend is if you buy a nut butter, if you buy a nut butter, which is fine, I recommend pouring the oil out. That's something you can do. Pour the oil out like I did. So if you see a nut butter you like because you're going to eat nut butters and you don't have any other way to do it, you don't have a machine that makes your own, pour the oil out. So when you get a nut butter, it's important. It doesn't get rid of all the oil. You know, I have a friend the other day that said, listen, I'm going to eat a nut butter no matter what. I said, okay, then, then here's, here's some good nut butters. It's still going to have this oil in it. It's still going to be oil that's just bulk oil that's cheap, that's from other places around the world. That's how it works. But dump the oil out if you can. Try to dump as much oil you possibly can out. And that's what I tell friends. And that's why I've even said, people will come to me like, look, AW, I'm going to eat nut butter no matter what. I go, I got you. Totally understand. There's some brands that, that I like then anyway. They're like, you know, some brands out there. I've talked about it. I say, look, you can look at this brand, that brand. But I tell people, I give them tips. If you're going to have it anyway, dump the oil out. So what you want to do right there is you want to dump that oil out. It's still not going to get rid of all of it by far, but it gives you a better shot. Because there's people that are going to just go and buy it anyway. So I want to just give them options if they're going to do that anyway. All right, so we just did some... Um, roasted cashew butter. That's roasted cashew butter. Now, here's raw cashews. You can make a raw cashew nut butter as well. So there's raw cashews. But I want to pack these into some little jars really quick. I can pack this one in. So here's the cashew butter right there. No. There we go. Guys, yeah, so great to have you in my kitchen. I'm honored you're here. So what I'm doing is putting it in these little jars and then I put a lid on it. You might be able to see this on a close-up too. It looks really cool. So I'm packing it down with my hands. My hands are clean. I wasn't out at the post office or at the store or grocery store and I was opening up all kinds of doors out there and had my hands on the shopping cart and carriages and now I'm putting my hands in here so I can put all those little buggies that I picked up somewhere on my hands in here. But no, my hands are clean. I'm actually packing in this nut butter right there. There we go. Look at that. I can put the lid on it. Boom. Let's get the lid on straight. Okay, it's one right there. Let's get another one. You guys are making three guacamole soon. I mean, look, is it just me? Or I care what I put in my body? I mean, I know that, right? Is it just me? No, it's not just me. It's you guys too. I mean, if you're really, if you're really chronically sick, everything matters. All right. So I just packed some nut butter in here. Now what you can do is you can pack it down in there like this. Here we go. 
I mean, I'm doing a quick, a real quick version of it right there. And I'll do the other one in a little bit. Let's get moving. I want to make you guys a hummus. Which I'm totally, truly, truly excited about. All right, do a quick little cleanup. We're moving along. I have a mess on the floor. <laughs> I have a mess on the floor and I have a towel on the floor and I'm kind of kicking it around right now. And I want to get rid of these. Nice. All right, you guys. Let's roll. Time to make some hummus. Who eats hummus? Just want to ask you guys. Something you eat once in a while. Is it something you eat a lot of? Now, I don't like to buy store-bought hummus because of all the stuff that's in it. The amount of junk and garbage that's in a store-bought hummus. It's really scary. Actually frightening, to tell you the truth. Okay, so I got chickpeas right here. I wanna show you guys. You can make black bean hummus, lentil hummus. These are garbanzo beans, chickpeas. This is the kind of hummus I'm making right now. Just gonna make a simple hummus. I'm gonna take orders. What would you like in your hummus? Is there anything particular you see? I got different herbs here. Um, I got lime, lemon. Do you like lime in your hummus or do you like lemon in your hummus? Do you like garlic in your hummus? I think what I'm gonna do is grab a garlic clove now and get it ready. How much garlic do you like in your hummus? You like a lot? Or a little? I tend to like a lot. But I've seen, you know, people where it's like, whoa, too much. That's way too much garlic. I don't like my hummus with that much garlic in there. Okay. Now what you'll see here is instead of putting tahini, I am going to put sesame seeds. One thing you're not going to get with sesame seeds is all that added gnarly oil. You're not going to have that. It's just the seeds. Plus, the sesame seeds have so much flavor, you can just add a little bit into your hummus in the MM1500, and it'll actually grind it all together. It'll get that flavor all through the hummus. So that's what I'm going to add. I have people coming over later. They like salt. I want to accommodate anybody, whoever comes over, and I will make them anything they want. I promised that the hummus would have some salt in it. So I am going to find the salt in a little bit. Here it is. All right. And I'm making a decision right now. What do I want in here, lemon or lime? I think I'm gonna go with a lemon. And I'm gonna cut that lemon in half and get it ready. There we go. Okay. And the other decision is, am I gonna put herbs in here? Yes, I am. I'm gonna do a little bit of basil. We'll see, we'll see. Maybe none at all. All right, let's roll. Extremely low fat hummus. Hummus in the store usually has a mix of canola and olive oil canola oil declines your health i've written about this for years in the medical medium books right i'm gonna drop some sesame seeds down in here take a look you guys is that insane sesame seeds down in there i'm gonna put a pinch of salt down in there too i'm even gonna drop some lemon juice down in there look at that it's crazy I'm gonna drop a clove of garlic down in there too in a little bit. There we go. Let me drop a clove of garlic. Wow, it's insane. So good. 
Okay. Look how incredible that is. You guys see this? Is that insane? Right? Homemade hummus out of the MM1500. I'm gonna drop a little bit more sesame seeds down in here. Get that flavor, but you're not burdening it with all that fat. You're not killing your pancreas. One of the things that happens out there is people, their pancreas just takes a licking and takes a licking, and one day their pancreas says, I can't do it anymore. You've been killing me without realizing it. Okay, let's get some more lemon in here. Nice. Real nice. This is going to taste so good. I got that one big clove of garlic in there. I'm going to make a big one because uh, I think Bryce might be showing up. I don't know if you guys remember Bryce. He's actually transformed lately. He's not doing so good. Make sure you get the MM1500. Not if you're trying to, if you say, oh, look, I'll go to Mega. I'll go get this juicer. You might end up not getting the MM1500. Make sure it's the MM1500 for all these reasons that I've already showed you since the celery juice and the parsley and everything else. I'm gonna pop in a few more sesame seeds. How incredible is that? Seriously. I'm trying to do this like nice and quick here. I'm doing this one without fresh herbs. I'm just doing a straight hummus for my guests. Lemon, a little bit of salt. There you go. And garbanzo beans. There it is, right there. All right. Voila. Nice. Make sure it all comes out. Perfect. Let me move these sesame seeds. I'm going to give you guys a play by play. Let me move this ball. Who knew like taking care of yourself could be fun? So fun. All right, let me shut this down. We have a hummus right there. Creamy, creamy hummus. And you can put a fresh herb on top. Let me do that. So I'm mixing it up a little bit, just a little bit of a mix. Look at that. Let's see if I can get you a focus right there. Okay. And I'll show you guys. So I'm just mixing it a little bit. There we go. Okay. All right. You can put fresh herb on top of this. Just a little bit of fresh basil on top real quick. If you want it in a bowl like this, but I'm going to put it in like this great display. I'm putting a little bit of basil on top and I'm just going to squeeze some additional lemon on top too. There we go. Ooh, just got lemon in my eye. How many people get lemon in their eye? There it is. That's the hummus from the 1500. Right. I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna put it in here. I want a nice scoop it on top. I want it nice and tall. It's gonna go right here. You guys, if you stick around, I'm making three guacamoles. There it is right there. Gorgeous little display for people coming over. That's a rice cracker right there with no oil or anything. Doesn't have any of the bad oils and the crackers and the chips, right? But that's the little display right there. Link is uh, the link for the 1500, the MM1500 juicer and nutritional center is in the profile and the description. I see people asking about it. 
All right. Now we're going into the heavy duty. We're making the guacamole. Yeah. I'm a little nervous. I gotta be honest, I'm a little nervous. Woo! It's guacamole time. All right. I'm gonna use this bowl right here. Okay. I got some avocados. I wanna give you guys a couple of avocado tips. One is, I've showed you this before. You'll see there's a butt where the stem was. So the avocado was hanging off the tree and the stem went like this and it was attached to the avocado. And then when they twisted it off or it was cut off the stem, the avocado growers, it left a piece of the stem right there. And what I see happen with people's guacamole is they're not prepared to bite on such a hard knobby thing. And when people make their guacamole, that knob, see I just took it off. That knob goes in the guacamole. So many people had that happen. A friend of mine was at a restaurant in LA and was eating guacamole with his friend. And he watched his friend bite onto that very thing that was in the guacamole. And like bit it, injured themselves, bit their tongue, bit their lip. It was the weirdest thing he said. It was the strangest thing. They took a look at what it was and they went and they, they were like, we want to show you what was in your guacamole. And they're like, that's weird. How did that get in there? That's because chefs do it all the time as they're making and preparing guacamole. That knob actually ends up in the food. And so many people's guacamoles. Here's another one right here. I'm taking this one off. There it is. Make sure you remove it before you start making your guacamole in your bowl or whatever you're doing. All right, cutting open these avocados. Preparing them really quick, it's easy. And we're gonna make a really basic, good guacamole at first. So right now I'm doing this. Let's get another one. Wonderful, okay. All right. So, there's the avocado half. I'm just taking a spoon. You can take any spoon you want in there. I'm removing that. I'm gonna put that down in there. These are not fermented. These are not spoiled. What happens to a lot of people is they buy them dark. Do not buy your avocados dark like this unless you're taking a risk. Cause you're gonna, this is one that actually is overripe in my hand. You buy these overripe, you get a bad experience. What happens is the avocados fermented. It's spoiled, it'll have dark spots. Or if it doesn't have dark spots in there, it could be fermented anyway, and you have a bad experience, a poor experience with your guacamole, not even realize it. You're eating spoiled, rancid, old avocado and you don't even know it. So what you're seeing here, these are not, these, even though there's a dark spot right there, these are still good. There's a difference between a dark spot and totally rancid. You can actually take out like a little dark spot if you want, but there you go. All right. I'm going to do some lime. Maybe, uh, let me crack open another lemon. I'll do a blend of a little lime and lemon with this one here. Okay. All right. So the attachment for this, if you've done the, if you actually own the MM1500, do you own the MM1500? There's a little attachment right here. I'm trying to get it out. There it is. That's the one I'm making hummus. That's the one I'm making guacamole in. It's this little attachment. You'll see a little bit of the hummus left over in there. See if I can push that out. I'm gonna put it back on the front. Okay, put this piece on. Here we go. All right, let's roll. Three hummuses, not hummuses, sorry, three guacamoles to make. <laughs> We're live. So a little bit of that left over and then we go. This is so great. Pop another half in. I'm making a basic one for people that 
just like a basic one. That's all they like. They don't want anything in there. They don't want medicine in there. They don't want anything fun in there. They don't want spicy. They don't want anything, right? They just want salt and lemon. A lot of people have the most basic guacamole. That's fine. Or they want lime. I have a lime right here. So what I'm doing, popping these pits out. Let's keep it coming. There we go. I'm gonna squeeze some lime in there. A little bit of lime down in there like that, you guys see? And I'm gonna put a little bit of salt down there too. Salt and lime. All right, this one's done. Just popping some more in here. There you go. Okay, that's a lime, a little bit of um, sea salt. That's just a plain, clean guacamole. What you won't find in there is like cheese, milk, sour cream, any kind of crazy oils. Olive oil is added into guacamole all the time. It shouldn't be. It should just be like fresh and clean, just like that. You can put fresh herbs on top if you like. Okay. I'm gonna put it in this guacamole bowl and then pop some fresh herbs on top. And a little bit extra lime. A little bit sprig there of sea salt. I kept the garlic out of this one. This is a real basic one. And then you can put any kind of fresh herb you want. Cilantro, basil, anything. Parsley, cilantro, basil, chives. All right. And I'm gonna pop some lime on top because as you know, guacamole, it's gonna be sitting there for a while. And I wanna keep it looking as fresh as possible. And there we are right there. That's going to go in this tray. I'm going to get another one rolling now. Okay. All right, next. This next one is the medicine guacamole. The difference with this one is it's going to have a lot of intense herbs in it. You want to make the most out of every meal you have. So what I'm doing is cutting open a few avocados really quick. I didn't want to pre-cut them because I didn't want them oxidizing. You know, when you actually open an avocado, if you let it sit too long, it starts to oxidize. I didn't want that to happen. So you guys got to hang in there while I just knock out a few of these like this real quick there we go that one's a bad avocado bad avocado that's a good one right there let's get another one that one right there a little iffy but i'm gonna hold on to it happens in the stores is they're dropped all the time on the floor and then the produce guy comes around and he puts them back up and then people come around and they they're going to get their avocados and they drop a whole bunch on the floor and that's one thing that happens or they squeeze them people go in and they're squeezing their avocados all the time all right let's roll 
So I'm putting herbs in with this one. It's gonna be a lot more intense. If you guys just got here, this is the MN 1500, it's $100 off. I don't think, I don't know if they'll ever do that again. $100 off is definitely pretty crazy. I've not seen a sale on this model, this unit, ever like that. I'm going to put some lemon in here too, and lime. Let's get some lemon juice going. Nice. There we go. All right. This is going to be a fresh herb one. Kind of making a mess today. There we go. Get some fresh herbs in here. First of all, basil, extremely medicinal. You run a little bit of that in there. This isn't for the faint of heart. I challenge you guys for a medicine guacamole. Can you pull it off? Medicine guacamole, there's two types of basil. There's a Thai basil and regular standard basil. I'm gonna put some rosemary in this one. Straight rosemary from my garden right there. Look at that. Rosemary is extremely medicinal as well. I'm gonna put lots of rosemary in there. I'm gonna put oregano in here as well. So this medicine guacamole is going to have some serious oregano right there. Boom. And then, last but not least, I'm going to put sage in this guacamole. It's incredible. Blows my mind. Making this as quick as I can. Because I want my guacamole. I'm gonna get some lime in here. There we go. A little bit of salt. But this is the herb one right here, you guys. It's hanging up a little only because these avocados are extra, extra soft today. Let's see what we can do. There we go. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That oregano, big hunk of it in there. I'm gonna put a little bit more basil in there. And then I'm gonna put some thyme in there too. Nice. This thyme is already dried. It's from my garden. Okay. Let's get a little bit more of this avocado. Now, no one's eating out there guacamole that has this much herb, this much medicine in it. They're not having guacamole with a lot of rosemary, thyme, sage, two kinds of basil. There you go. All right. I'm gonna move this over. There it is, you guys. Now, this is a medicinal one. It took a little time because I want enough herbs in there. And I want the kind of herbs, obviously. These are all fresh garden herbs. All the stems included. Some of the stems were included too, which is really serious. I'm gonna spray a little bit more lemon on top of this. 
There we go. I'm gonna knock it in here. Amazing. I wanna show you guys what I got. Yep, I have lime in there, but I wanna show you guys. Take a look. There's a simple regular guacamole, lime and sea salt, and there's the medicine one right there, which is sage, rosemary, thyme, two kinds of basil, and oregano. Big difference when you're having it like this. So if you're gonna be a guacamole eater, if you're gonna be eating avocados, take advantage of putting the medicine in it. So it's not just like by itself. Of course you can have avocado by itself. It's, it's still a powerful, beautiful fruit. There you go. I don't want these to slip off the tray, but can you guys see? I wanna make one more guacamole. This one's kind of like real edgy, really spicy. This one's going to be really edgy. So let's go. Let's work on it. Getting some avocados out now. There we go. That's a decent avocado right there. Pop the pips the pits out real easy. See so guys, on the spicy stuff, I'm a real like, I like hot pepper. I like different kinds of hot peppers. That's just me. You know, I know that a lot of people don't like that or their stomach can't handle it. Um, I have like one of those stomachs of steel. This is great for football season, by the way, party season, holiday season. If you're taking care of yourself during the holidays, this is a great way to do it. Getting some Avos ready right now. Okay, you guys. Yeah, that nut butter thing just blows my mind. Even till now, it just blows my mind when I think about it. What I like about the MM1500 is, I mean, you can knock out so many guacamoles like this. If you have your stuff ready, you can just boom, knock these babies out. So we've got another one here. All right. Try to go lightning speed for you guys. All right, let's roll. This one's a spicy hot one. I'm gonna get these cayennes. So one cayenne in a guacamole this size is already probably too spicy, like one of these. I'm gonna put three in there, okay? It's gonna be really hot, really spicy. I don't recommend doing that though. Like at your house, if this is what you're gonna do, just put like a little bit if you're into it, but don't overdo it because that's a lot. All right, let's roll. This is gonna be the spicy one. go when it comes down to chronic illness and someone's really struggling if they if they give their body what it needs their body knows it knows you're trying to give it what it needs it knows you're working hard on it Communication with your immune system is important because every time you do something good for yourself, tell your body that you're doing it. I am going to make a medicine guacamole. Talk to your immune system. I am going to make a medicine guacamole for my immune system. 
We're putting a garlic clove in this one, so not only is it going to have the cayenne, it's going to have the garlic in it as well. Now, what happens is that if you're going to be not eating avocados, that's fine. If you're going to be doing something like the 369 or the 28 day cleanse without the avocado, if you're going to be doing a 369 or a mono eating cleanse without avocado because you're working on a deeper level of your healing process, that's incredible. But if you're going to eat a guacamole in between or some avocado on a salad, and make it as medicinal as possible. Okay. All right, got the garlic clove in here. Let me add some lemon in here too. Let me add some lime in here as well. And I got to get the cayenne in here. I'm taking off the bottoms. <laughs> it's gonna be hot. I'm actually getting a little bit worried on how hot this is. $100 off, the link is in the bio and in the description on the MM1500. So that hot pepper just came out. A little bit of sea salt in there and then we're good. All right, you guys. I see people asking about the machine, asking about like what the sale is. It's a hundred dollars off on this machine. Link is in the bio, link is in the description. Check it out when you get a chance. What the heck did we make? We made extremely hot, spicy, three cayenne pepper guacamole right there. Let me get it into this little bowl here. There you go. I'm actually nervous about that one. That thing is gonna be real hot. Let me get the tray out, there we go. That's the real spicy one right there. You guys, I'm gonna try it. A little nervous. I need something to drink. I gotta drink something. Hold on, guys. That thing is freaking hot. <laughs> you guys, I got celery juice. <laughs> I got celery juice that I was drinking before I went on this live. I just have to have some. I just, I have to. Because that is really, really hot. I'm going to take this piece of broccoli and I'm going to stick it in this really spicy guacamole here. Mm. Yeah, those are from my garden. Those are hot peppers from my garden. And the herbs are from my garden. Oh, that's insane. Oh, that's that bites you. I mean, you guys, there's probably some of you that like eat so many hot peppers. You think I'm like probably a wuss or something. And you're saying like, well, no, A.W. is a wuss because he just put three big cayennes in there and it can't be that hot. But for some reason, this cayenne I've been growing in the garden has been insane. It's it's actually not every, just because if you go look up cayenne on like, right, and you look at the heat units, right, and you're like, oh, what does it have? And it says it'll have 95,000 or it'll have whatever it'll say. I mean, don't quote me on that, whatever's out there, but just so you know, one cayenne can be a lot hotter than another cayenne. One cayenne plant can be an entirely different heat level than another one, depending on the soil and so many different factors. For some reason, these cayennes are like dangerous. They're way hotter, but I'm gonna have a little bit more because I can't help it. Mm. 
Mm. Hands down, that's insane. Flower Jasmine says, best part of Omega masticating juicers, as food is flying out of my mouth, is it's very quiet, doesn't wake up the entire household while juicing. You guys, I'm sorry if I'm quiet because I'm actually burning up. Hold on. I got a guest coming. If you guys are okay, I got a guest coming. Um, they'll be here any second, any minute. Let me show you what I made before my guest comes. I don't often have a guest. Woo! That's freaking hot. I'm doing a hot dance right now. Like, <laughs> I can't sit still because I'm like, freaking head is burning up from that pepper. All right. What was I saying? <laughs> I want to show you what I made. Guacamole, a really spicy hot one with the cayenne, right? Two other guacamoles right here. One that's a basic one, which I haven't tried yet. Did you ever take an onion? I'm in a crazy meditative state right now. I'm in a state of uh, agony and bliss from that hot pepper. And at the same time, I don't know. I just feel really good right now. I'm gonna try this basic one. Did you ever do this with an onion? Mm. Sorry about that. <laughs> Okay, you see this? You take an onion wedge. Now, you might not want to do this. And there's some onions that are like extra hot. They're not like on the sweet edge. This one's like, this one's edgy. It's hot. It's not so sweet. So you want to be careful. So what I do is I take onion wedges just like this. And I use it as a dipping tool. And I bite the onion just like this, okay? Mm. So good. Right? Okay, that's the basic guacamole. And then I want to check out... I want to check out this one here. I'm going to take this carrot... Wait! I'm going to take this collard green from the garden. This is so good. And I'm going to have the medicinal herb one right here in the collard green. Let me give you a close-up on this too, if I can. See, guys, I put it right inside the collard green just like that. That's the herb one, the medicine one. There it is. I'll show you guys up front. And you can put anything in there you want. You can put any of this in there. But I'm just going to actually, I'm going to take some asparagus. This is raw asparagus. And I'm going to put the raw asparagus spears, a couple of them, right in the center. And I'm going to eat it like a burrito. This is a collard wrap with the guacamole, the medicine guacamole. Okay, that's insane. Mm. That's too good. Too good. <clears throat> I hear a knock at the door. You guys... I got a guest. Just hang on. I'll be right there. I just gotta let him in. Hey, how you doing, man? What's going on? Is everything okay? Are you alright? You don't look so good. You sure? Are you, uh, how long are you here for? You wanna say hi to everybody? Are you, uh, Are you gonna say hi to everybody? Bryce, 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 this way. Are you gonna say hi to everybody? Whoa. Whoa. Hey, W, why is the floor so slippery, man? You're disgusting. Well, I knew you were a pig. Where's your pig pen, AW? Uh, 
Oh. Oh. I just got back from Burning Man. And we were trapped there for three days in Burning Man. I got a new tattoo on my thigh. Some some lady gave me a tattoo on my thigh at Burning Man. And she pierced my neck. And she almost hit my artery. But she said it would be a good piercing. And she was on like ecstasy, man. She gave me some with some psilocybin. Ever since I took it, I can't see psilocybin right. Dude. Hey, W, can I have some of the grub? What is this? I'm telling you, the onion's hot. There's a too hot of an onion, AW. Why are you. Mm, mm. I was in. I'm just talking. I'm just talking to myself. Uh, did you ever eat, eat the hair when you grow too much hair on your. your your head and your face, and you just end up getting it in your food. Yeah, anyway, all right. I just I gotta go lay down. I think I gotta go lay down. The hummus, hummus, hummus. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh. So I was playing in the mud at Burning Man, and uh, and some some people jumped me, and we were rolling around in the mud. And uh, they, they, they said I smelled really funny when I was in the mud with them for hours. And then the, the government said they were closing off Burning Man and not letting anybody leave. But we just sat in it till we froze to death. Mmm, this is really good. Yeah, oh, hummus is really good. We got the monkeys. We got the monkeys. I need the hummus. It always works for me. I hate guacamole. I like the munchies with the hummus. It's so good. I gotta go. I gotta go. I think I think I have to go to the bathroom. Party are we having today? I'd love to know. Dr. Jehovah here. Yes, I just got into health pretty recently. Yep, yeah, about four years ago, five years ago, and I became a podcast doctor. Yeah, you just bring on guests. It doesn't mean anybody heals. I just bring on guests. Yes, we promote all kinds of things. Whey protein powder and charcoal. What else? All kinds of stuff. Hmm. Hmm. What? What is this? Pray tell. What can this be, A.W.? Is this the milk of the gods? What is this? Is this colostrum? Yes. Yes. I'm one of the podcast doctors that believes in colostrum. You didn't know that they kicked the little calf away, did you? And they don't let the calf get the first... Mother's milk? They kick the calf away. Yeah, you should see them as they kick the calf. They grab the calf, and the calf can't get to the mommy. And guess what? All the classroom gets bottled up and sold to us podcast doctors. Yes, and then we recommend it and say you should be on colostrum. I know, I know. As if it's supposed to be good for us. Yes, is this the colostrum that we're getting now from all those farms that are kicking the calves away? Hmm. 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 Ooh. Oh, I dare say. That's the best colostrum I've ever had. So good. But I see something else here. Ooh. I think this is my wine. This is what I come here, AW4, is the wine. Very good. Very good. You can smell the wine. You can smell. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. Very good. I bought a vineyard last year. Did you know with inflation, the price of inflation, we have raised glasses of wine to $102,000 a glass. 
Someone told me it should be $50,000 a sip. Yes. And this is my favorite brew right here. Mm. Delightful. Yes. So I'm a podcast doctor that decided to start eating better about five years ago like the rest of them. And, oh, I dare say anybody who's been in the health movement for 30 years, they don't know what they're talking about. It's just us guys that went from uh, conventional stuff into straight into the movement where we sell all kinds of things and then we talk about heavy metals and whatever now that we hear out there. Yes, we're the podcast doctors that have moved in. Oh, okay, okay. Ooh, some hummus. There better be lots of nutritional yeast in here. We sell a nutritional yeast. Yes, we do. We have a whole menu of nutritional yeast on all of our websites now. There better be lots of nutritional yeast here. I better go. I better go. I have so much to do. I have patience waiting. I will see you all. Yes. Well, thank you, Dr. Jehovah. So glad you're here. Yeah. No, you can you can get to your patients right away. Thank you. Hey guys, this has been a great, great day. Watch this from the beginning if you get a chance. If you accidentally get this far, <laughs> if you somehow got this far, check out the rest of the show so you can learn all about the MM1500. Link is in the description. Link is in the bio. So great to be here with you guys today. Did we really? Elaine says, my man. Did we really do three guacamoles, a hummus, nut milk, three nut butters? Did we really do all that and then some? Here's the nut butters. I still got to pack another nut butter. Unbelievable. Melanie, I love my MM1500 and so do I. Freaking love it. Hands down, love the MM1500. Jeanette says, you're the only one that has helped me to get healed. It just took six months of, uh, for full recovery for, from your protocols. I did take discipline and determination, and it's a miraculous heal. And I got to tell you something. Don't let people throw you off, the trolls, the people that are constantly trying to take down medical medium in the community, the people that put doubters out there, the people that say, I've been doing this and this. Don't get thrown by it. You stay on course. Learn the information. Work on your healing process. You can get there. There is a way to heal. So many people have by the thousands and thousands and in the millions around the world, people have healed, benefited their lives. They've moved forward from some of the most debilitating conditions that were tearing their lives apart, keeping them down, and they moved forward and they healed. You can do it. It's real. People are doing it every day with the medical medium information and the books and the medical medium series. Please know that option is there for you in your life. It is in your hands and you can actually heal and move forward and try not to get distracted by all the bullshit that's happening of everybody trying to put in their two cents, unfortunately, with some of the most non-helpful stuff that you could ever use that derails people and sends them down the wrong track constantly and delays their healing process <clears throat> by like a year, two, three, four, sometimes 10 <clears throat> that hot pepper is really, it's really intense. I'm going to have some more. <clears throat> Where's my drink? Well, you know what? I'm kind of a glutton. So instead of drinking because the hot pepper is so hot, I'm going to eat more hot pepper because I can't help it. That's hot. Thanks for making me laugh. Fabian says. Great name. I love that name. It's a powerful name. You guys, <clears throat> incredible. Thank you for being here. And just know that I care. I love you guys. On IG, Dr. Kerwin says, I reversed my Hashimoto's with a W and SOC. Thank you, Anthony. You can heal. You can move forward. You can get your lives back. You can do it. It's there. It's in your hands. Have patience. Take your time. Wild Blueberry Dream says, I have multiple sclerosis and celery juice and medical medium information. Help me heal my brain lesion that caused double vision. It caused double vision. 
<clears throat> Ish Wild says, every other juicer, I burned out the engine in a few months because no one juices like the medical medium community and those basket spinning basket juicers do not do the job and they make the nutrient they make the juice nutrient deficient they make the juice nutrient deficient hot blazing says love my omega mm 1500 i have two and i have two as well i love them so much they are so incredible kiza said ew is a great multitasker i try my best but most importantly i am at your service I am at your disposal. Marma Wellness says, I want that machine. Where can I get it? Link is in the profile. Link is in the description. You can find it. You can find it also at medicalmedium.com. It's there. It's the MM1500. Don't lose it out on the $100 off on this machine. $100 off on this machine. Andrea says, I'm a holistic dentist in Italy. See, I'm an holistic dentist in Italy. Every morning I drink celery juice. I suggest to remove all the metals from the mouth. An incredible dentist right there. Drinking celery juice. You know what I hear all the time? Like, what serves you? What serves? Reminded me when I said, I am at your service. People say, oh, it doesn't serve me. Oh, it serves me. <laughs> Just like, serves you? Serves? Yeah. Petty says, hi, Anthony. I have just been on my holidays. I had no celery juice for a week. I felt lethargic and my eczema flared and back and my headache too. Gone my energy back in one morning because of your celery juice coming back. In one morning, your headache felt better. Your headache gone. You're feeling better. That's incredible. It truly is. Goes Monica says, parsley shot is a lifesaver. I will concur I will concur with that. I like saying the word concur. I just like it. Instead of saying, yeah, I agree. I concur. Let's see. Mamo Berry says, I love my MM1500. Great to see you, Anthony. Great to see you too. It's an honor to be here. Some spicy hot pepper, man. That's spicy hot guacamole. It's the kind of thing where you can't help it, but you want more. But then you're like, whoa. And then you're like, what? And you're like, whoa. It's pretty intense. Dr. Bajobi left the here with Henna. Good to see you. CJ saved my life. Years, uh, four years down. I haven't missed a single day in these four years. Bring, ba bring, ba bring, ba bring, ba bring. The bell should ring for that. That's incredible. Health with Haley. Heal with Haley. I'm literally, I've literally never heard of making guac in a juicer so cool. It is cool. It's boop cool. It's blippin' cool. It's bleepin' cool. It's freaking cool. If I wasn't on air, I would say it's boop, bleep, 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 cool. <laughs> bleep, cool. It's damn cool. It really is. You guys, incredible. I will see you guys soon. And thank you for being here. It was a great chance to spend some time with you guys. God bless you. Take care.